Hello, this is Carrie Ann. I haven't been here in a while. I'm gonna make my intro. I found an abandoned house and I'm by myself and I'm gonna go and adventure in it. Come join me. Wow, this is gutted. The doors open. All oh, wires. Ooh. Wow, man. Glass everywhere. Oh my god. This is sad. Someone used to live here. Look at this. This is why it's so bad. Oh my God. Oh my. Oh, if you hear cars that were right on the road. This is sad. Jeez, look at this. Oh, the windows are busted. There's a garage. Oh, I'm trying to go in without, you know. Jesus, Christopher. Oh, the floor. Oh, I don't want to make too much light. Going upstairs. I have to be careful. It's been through rain. Hello? I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm trying to, oh my God, look at this. This place is so, this is sad. Man, hello? Wow, that's the cellar. I will not go down the cellar. Oh my God. This is terrible. Wow, look at that. Steps are broken, I think. Yeah, steps are broken. Oh. Oh God, this is sad. Looks like the ceiling is caving in. It's a cute little home. Wow, rocks. That's how they busted the windows. Yeah, the floor's a little smushy. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at this. Plates. I hope you guys could see this. I'm scared. <laughs> I haven't been on video in a while. So we're going to go up to Venture. Oh, wow. Okay. This is... Oh, my God. What did they do to this place? It's 
It's been abandoned for two, going on two years now. Holy God. I mean, they left a lot of stuff. But it's broken, it's messed. Paperwork. A bed. Oh, yeah, look, it's caving in over here. Holy shit. Oh, it's an attic. So, so it looked like this was a three bedroom. Whew. What mess. All right. Oh, more rocks. Oh my God. It's sad. All right. Coming down here. Down the steps. That's a nice little loft thing. Whoever buys this is going to have to fix it up. This is terrible. Oh, bathroom. Hmm. <clears throat> so, I figured I'd do an adventure today. And, um, you know, by myself. Get back out in the the world get over the the fear and everything and I don't know I just had this urge to come in here so I did and um I found other couple places that I want to go see but this was intriguing and the property is so beautiful but this is bad it needs everything this is so sad well, this is what happens. And they shouldn't do this. This, this is wrong on so many levels. All right. Let's for sure on out, out of here. Oh, glass everywhere, man. Jeez. I mean, I like this little porch. Oh, this place, the wires and everything. Okay, well... We'll sit here for a couple of minutes and talk. Um, welcome. <laughs> this is, I don't know about doing an overnight challenge here, but this is pretty cool. And it has a garage, but I don't know if I could go in there. I'll see. All right, let's go venture outside. Ooh. Ooh. Car. That's one thing about this is that the road is right there. So I get nervous. And of course, I'm in white. <laughs> Dumbass that I am. Dumbass that I am. Okay, so we are going to try to make it over here in the bushes. There we go. Get out of the the limelight. All right, now we gotta get over there somehow. Okay. Here's the garage. Oh, there's a car in there. Tractor, cause this was a farmer. Oh, they busted it. I don't need to go in there. Okay. Well, I'll make an outro in a, in a couple minutes. I just want to get out of the limelight, you know? All right. Come over here. So, we had an adventure, our first venture back, abandoned house. Um, with that said, I am going to stop this and go find my car. <laughs> we'll walk down the hill. All right. Talk to you soon. Hello. Good morning, everyone. I just woke up. I didn't even do my hair yet. <laughs> um, I made a video last night 
and you have probably watched it. And uh, it was me going into a abandoned house alone. So the abandoned house, I thought that I was gonna record as a video would be much longer. No, it, it was just so um, destructive and uh, it was so bad, so bad. They, they ruined that so bad, these people. Um, hi, good morning. Uh, I haven't been on here in a while. Um, I'm very proud of myself that I went into an abandoned house. I know it's just, it's not like a normal thing to be <laughs> doing this for most people, but I have overcome a big fear of going to certain places alone. It, it's just, it is, it's a thing. But I, I have overcome it and it feels so good to overcome fear. And that's the message today. That is the message. When you know, I mean, it, it's, it's abandoned. But to go in there by yourself in the middle of the night, I believe it was 12 o'clock at night when I went. And I was there till about, you know, 12.30, quarter to one. I wasn't there long, but, you know, there was traffic, uh, um, getting caught by the police, um, seeing if there was, a, a you know, those, those people living in there. <laughs> I don't know what they're called, but, you know, those, those kind of people. Uh, it's a very scary thing. Plus, you know, your adrenaline is rushing. And uh, it wasn't much to see, but it was, it's something just to see it. It is, it's something. Do you know what I mean? You have to like what you do, put it that way. You have to like to be an explorer and to actually like it to be able to do it. I, I absolutely love it. It brings out the best in me. I it's. I mean, I could be having a bad day and go to an abandoned place is like, wow. <laughs> it's, it makes me feel so much better on that aspect. Anywho, um, people, kids destroy I don't like that because that gives a bad name to exploring. I, I didn't abandon anything. I, I didn't even touch really a hair other than the door. And I was barely touching the door because the wind, you know. The door was open. The door was open. And the door is open and all the windows are busted out. I'm going in. That's like, okay, door's open. Come in. But if the door was locked and boarded up, I will not go in because I, first of all, I don't break anything. And that is, I wouldn't do that. You know, that's not me, but the door was open and I went in, I went in. There wasn't much to see. I mean, I, I did notice that upstairs in the bedroom that the floor was actually caving in onto the one side right by the steps and it's caving in and um yeah that's gonna give away that whole that whole ceiling eventually is going to it's a shame it really is because if somebody ever buys that house they're gonna have to do a lot and lot of repair why not just people these kids would just leave leave it alone you know just leave it alone I mean let everybody um come in and look at it you know everybody wants to be an explorer I I loved it I thought it was great but going into somebody's home that was once was is is scary it's fearful and there's so many things that could go wrong and 
you just have to be mindful and open and know your surroundings <laughs> and um oh god my nasal it's a bad time of the year uh yeah lost the train of thought i was gonna say it's just to do something on your own is alone it that it's like ah it has everything good bad in between it has everything all my emotions were going i mean if if there was much more to see i would have stayed more longer but there there was anything there to see i mean it was a small home i mean it looks bigger on the outside than it really was but in the inside it was actually small and it was destroyed um that went abandoned during um the second year of covid um i did watch the the people move out the stuff um i believe uh the mom and dad lived there and they passed away of course they were very old they passed away so apparently it was probably passed down to kid their kids the next generation and it just sits there rotting and that's unfortunate because it's it's a farm it's a farmhouse and inside uh the garage there was farm equipment and a car of course busted <laughs> but uh the farm equipment was fine um, there is a barn, there is a barn to this, this, uh, property and it has farm equipment in it. Uh, although, although I have not gone in it, um, driving by it 105,000 times throughout the years, uh, I did notice that the barn door is open. And the reason why I know is farm equipment in it because you can see it from the road. So, and that's a two-story barn. I would like to go in there. But that's a tricky part. That is the tricky part. Um, that might be another adventure. I don't know. It's so, so risky, so risky. So, I'm glad I went in there for the... 10 minutes that I was in there, but yeah, it died and it just left rotting, rotting. And the house is rotting. The truly house is rotting. Um, the foundation is still good, but the roof looks like it's still good. So it can last, you know, a little longer in the elements but not much because if somebody doesn't buy it up soon, that's that whole farm, the house, the barn, the garage, all the property is going to be ruined. It's going to be ruined. And whoever buys it's going to have to start all over again. And that's a shame. Um, it, it has some, you know, cuteness to it. You know, it, it, it's just bad scenario. All right, so my car is warmed up. I have to go get a coffee and, of course, go get cat food. <laughs> so I'll continue this. Uh, I don't know if I can do this and drive it. It's a little too much. So uh, I'll have to continue this. Okay, I'm back. I got myself my coffee and I'm on my way to go. Not a sponsor, but I love my coffee. I'm still banning Dunkin' Donuts after I think it's been a year a year I've been banning Dunkin' Donuts it just tastes like water anyway the message today is um, you gotta stop and smell the roses life's way too short and if you let fear get in the way of you living your best life um, it's just pulling you down it's the evil pulling you down. Um, the higher divine does not want you to be strict in striction. So the bottom line is just go stop and smell the roses. Go enjoy, go and explore, 
go, if you feel it and you feel it, the fear, just overcome it. It is plain and simple. It's, I have overcome many, many challenges and I always say to myself, oh, I can't, oh, I don't want to. And then you start self-sabotaging your, your uh, self into that you can't do it. So with that said, just live the best, best life. Go and do what you wanna do. If it makes you happy, go do it. If it doesn't make you happy, don't do it. Um, I wanted to go to an abandoned house. So of course there's risks. There's risk of everything. Um, good, bad, in between. But I wanted to do it and I overcome my own fear about going into an abandoned house. I mean, that's fear. And you, I did it by myself, um, alone at 12 o'clock at night, scared as shit. I mean, you, you'll tell, you watch the movie, you, you, you can tell I was scared. I was truly scared, but I can't let that stop me from living. No, I just had to keep going and I overcome it. And after I did the video outside, I finished the clip before I went down the hill. I felt so good inside because I overcome one of my biggest fears is going into an abandoned place at night by myself. So if I can do it, you can do it for sure. So with that said, um, there is more videos up to come. I am sorry that I haven't been in the spotlight for, I would say since June or the beginning of July. I've been super busy super super busy and I know that's an excuse but um I switched jobs again <laughs> before I stayed there too much longer um this one has everything that I can ever imagine and I worked there already yes I have worked there many many years ago so uh I'm returning home actually to a place that I worked 16 years ago and I absolutely love it. It has all kinds of benefits, sick time, vision, um, insurance, plenty of insurance, um, vacation and personal time, and and it pays very, very well. So uh, that's what drove me to leave. My other job, I loved my other job too, but um, it didn't have any benefits and I wasn't getting any raises. Or this place gives you raises and I am pretty happy with that. So I, you know, when you go to a new place, you have to start all over, obviously. You can't miss work, obviously. And it, it was, there was another fear of mine. <clears throat> I'm getting older and I can't be just job hunting all the time going to another job, but I had to do it um, in the best interest for myself and for my daughter. So with that said, uh, I overcome that fear too. And you know, it's just time to do it. So I'm gonna get raises and benefits are great. And I get to have vacation, a normal vacation. I don't have to go to my doctor and tell them I don't feel good. I don't have to go and get x-rays and prove that I don't feel good. Like when I don't feel good, I don't feel good. And I can legally call out of work for sick and get paid for it. So that's, <laughs> that's a good thing. <clears throat> well, anyways, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I have to do it. I mean, I have a, a, a heart condition, so I, I have to have, you know, good stuff on my side. And I have good doctors that understand, you know, if I'm tired, I have to rest. If, you know, because I, I do push myself to the, to the limit. L literally, I do. Um, anybody who knows me re in real life, they know that I have exceeded my boundaries of pushing myself. And it's just how I am. Anyway, 
Um, so that's the point of the day. There will be uh, new videos. It is spooky season. So my girlfriend Chantel and I have already discussed. Yes, she's in a picture. You know, everybody has their own little hurdles they have to climb over. And um, I'm still here in the background for her. And uh, we're gonna go do another adventure. Now this adventure, um, there's two of them. We have to finish what we started. So if you've been following my page, you would know and my videos here on YouTube, you would know what we have done. And we gotta finish it, cause we're in the middle of an investigation. Um, I know it's months and months apart, but investigation is investigation. Things get happen, you know, in our personal life, you gotta tend to them first, and then we get to have fun. So, we're gonna about to do that. Stay tuned, yes. Um, I love you all. Enjoy uh, fall time. It's October. And uh, yeah. So what do you guys think? Question. What do you guys think about the moon disappearing for seven days? Huh? If you've been observing and watching, you would know the moon disappeared for seven days when we were in the new moon era. Then seven days later, it comes out. Question, question. Observe, observe. <laughs> All right, well, stay tuned. Um, join me on Facebook. Uh, share, please share it, like it. Um, I want to at least get a thousand subscribers. So pass the word around that this crazy nutcase Carrie Ann. <laughs> is out and about doing our videos again all right love you all stay tuned for the next one bye